On a scale of 1 to 10, the level of foolishness exhibited by the EU might break the scale. It's beyond comprehension. In fact, it's as if witnessing a mouse deliberately setting a trap for itself. That's right, the EU seems to possess that extraordinary ability. Namaste and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Piyush. Let's begin. Imported energy is the lifeblood of Europe an indispensable connection that keeps the EU running day in and day out. Without it, the continent would come to a grinding halt, leaving economies, industries and households in the dark. Once reliant on Russia to satisfy its energy demands, the Ukraine war has compelled the EU to seek alternative sources. Following an extensive gas shortage in 2022, the EU embarked on a quest to fortify its energy reserves and minimize reliance on Russian energy. But here's the twist. They are considering storing some of their natural gas in Ukraine. Yes, this latest move seems akin to handing a star of Europe remote control to none other than the madman himself, Zelensky. As Bloomberg reported, the EU aims to stockpile fuel in preparation for the upcoming winter. With their gas storage facilities already more than 70% full, they are eyeing Ukraine as an additional storage option to prevent a glut in the months to come. Specifically, they are eyeing the Bilch Walitsko Uversk storage facility, capable of stockpiling over four times as much gas as Germany's largest site. However, traders and gas companies are not amused. They are rightfully concerned about the risks associated with the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. As the insurance industry wisely shies away from Ukraine, the EU will have to provide guarantees to gas companies to prevent them from losing money. The details of these guarantees remain shrouded in mystery. But hold on a minute, EU. Have you forgotten what happened just last year? Ukraine, the very country you are considering partnering with, blocked the flow of Russian oil pipelines to Western European nations. This move alone sent European gas prices skyrocketing. And now, Ukraine's latest stunt of blocking Russian oil supplies is expected to worsen an already precarious situation. Ukraine has often wielded its transit point leverage to extract aid and assistance from the EU. It seems that Zelensky's lust for Western money is driving his anti-Europe actions. With Western sanctions preventing Kiev from collecting transit fees from Moscow, the stage is set for another potentially disastrous power play. If the EU's plan continues to stockpile its gas reserves in Ukraine, European countries may find themselves trapped in frigid homes and powerless businesses once again. All the authority of Europe's energy will be in the hands of Ukraine. Sweet Lord, how did they even make their minds to bring Ukraine into such a scheme? The EU must awaken from its deep slumber before it becomes an energy slave reliant on Ukraine's nod to utilize its own energy. This move defies all logic and threatens the very essence of EU's energy independence. Putting trust in Zelensky's Ukraine as a strategic energy partner is akin to giving a madman keys to your house. It's a recipe for disaster, take a step back, reassess and find a more stable and reliable solution to safeguard your energy needs.